We are in a little place called Wazy and the north coast of Poland. We have no idea how van life looks like in Poland. Where to get water from? Where can you stay? No, I mean, we have no idea, you know, all of this kind of new stuff, what you learn when you go to new country in every country is slightly different. So it's a high season, uh, there are tourists everywhere and it's very, very busy. Many, like most of the parkings, uh, they are obviously not for free. You have to pay to stay. And as you know, we don't pay for car parks, so we will try to find parkings for free. Like for example, this one where we are in the woods now, there are also other different campers. Good morning, lovely. Good morning. How did you sleep? Beautiful. First night at the Polish seaside. Yes, nice and quiet here. No noises, no nothing. Just quiet. <sighs> so this place we found it on Park for Night and um, you can kind of see that it's in between the Baltic Sea and a big lake. Called so Yamana. Called Yamana? Mm -hmm. Yamana. This kind of area, it used to be military sort of ground and there are a few kind of abandoned buildings which we're going to go take a look at in a bit. Um, but first we're going to do some breakfast and then head to the beach. For breakfast we're having cucumbers and tomatoes from my garden, actually my mom's garden. Um, and leftover hummus which we made yesterday and bread and cup of tea and that's it <laughs> oops <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about all of that space? Lovely. It is actually amazing. And I didn't expect this. That, we, that we're gonna have so much space. Like now it looks like it feels like this van is double big. Doesn't it? Yeah, and we think like how did we sit there before? Yeah, together? exactly. <laughs> I don't I already I already don't remember how did we used to squeeze here. I mean it was fine. But all the time I had to move Omar and Omar's knees to not hit him when I opened the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, funny. Here I love you. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Here we have a fine hummus. Topped with tomatoes, cucumber, parsley, salt and pepper and... Chili flakes. Some chili flakes. Delicious. And a cup of Iranian tea. Stirred with a child spoon we found somewhere in Germany. <laughs> the sun came out and we're gonna go to the beach. Now, judging by what we've checked on the maps and park for night, it doesn't seem very common to get uh, like a beachy spot like actually near the sea so this is pretty nice we have what 200 100 meters 200 meters maybe maybe to the beach just really sort of sandy dunes hot very hot sand yeah the sand is nice. burning yeah and a very quiet nice beach ah, which we're gonna hot. see in just a second it's very hot <laughs> How is it so hot? It's not even that hot today. Ah! We don't even have space to, to, to rest somewhere. Welcome to Baltic Sea. Check it out. Nice. Very calm sea, actually. I could take my floaty today, my donuts, because as you can see, the water is very calm. Look at this lovely sand. 
nice white it's very fine it's lovely <laughs> our humongous map weather report it's about 21 degrees but it feels it feels like 30 I would say 25 no. it feels lovely it's it got a nice yeah, it's perfect temperature yeah it's not too hot it's not too cold sun is shining it's a nice breeze yeah good okay <laughs> don't take sleep oh. actually not too bad not too bad Ooh. Can you? We are making curry because um, why love actually? Why? Um, <laughs> for me, when you talk about the Baltic Sea, I just think of a Baltic curry <laughs> like all the time. And actually, time. I don't remember the last time we had a curry. Yeah. We've just been eating Polish food, which is is great. It's nice, but I don't remember the last time we had a curry. So, we're going to have a Balti at the Baltic Sea. I don't know if that's going to be exactly Balti. We're just going to use whatever we have. <laughs> but we will have nice curry. And let us know in the comments if anyone else thinks about curry when you talk about Baltic Sea. <laughs> So we cannot make Baltic curry because we don't have half of the ingredients from the recipe. <laughs> uh, we're just doing like le regular curry. I don't know, just a team a team curry. Yeah, a little bit of this, little bit of that. We're gonna put uh, potatoes inside, tomato sauce, onion, garlic, zucchini, uh, and chickpeas. Yeah. yeah. One plastic, lovely, fancy cup of rice. Do you think this will be enough for two of us? Okay, I will do half more because I don't want... Okay, I guess this. So... <clears throat> oh, too much. So now it's about like four o'clock. So kind of like a late lunch slash early dinner. So usually what we'll do at this time of day is maybe cook something, but cook quite a lot of it. So we have some food now and then some dinner for later, which we don't really have to make again, you know? We have some leftovers left for le later. Indeed. Zucchini straight from my garden. I'm dribbling. <laughs> what? I'm dribbling. You're dribbling. My saliva is dribbling. <laughs> mm, I miss curry. And I miss cooking in the van. Wow. I don't know, this is this that good or we just didn't eat curry for a long time <laughs> and this is really really yummy yeah both right we're gonna go have a look around and show you some abandoned military buildings anyone a need a spare fuel tank what the heck Maybe someone had an accident and they just said, nope, 
<laughs> what? There's loads of se jacket. Hey, you need a jacket. Bro. Another fuel tank. I wouldn't go inside. Oh. It might be dangerous. It's been a fire in here. More car parts. Very weird. There's more. That's window. Hmm. Okay. What's in there? Trash. And then some more rooms. Lovely. Hey, but this is cool. This would have been, I guess, some kind of garage for the vehicles. We've got an inspection pit. It looks like it. But there's lots of traps up there. Like those windows. Nice and big. Mm -hmm. Two inspection pits. You might think this being a good garage for you. Yeah. That'd be huge. That'd be nice. There's a space. Mm. And still some of the old writing there. I don't know if you can make any of that out. Some kind of other vehicle storage. I don't know it's supposed to be. Oh, the size of it. And it's like some oh. parking lines. Some parking lines. Maybe in there you would have like storage for oil or something, tools or something. Because this was like an army uh, high. training base, you know, and they probably had like some off road stuff maybe tanks who knows yeah i think tank would, would go yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the one i saw flying the drone wow that's deep hey there's some writing up there is that the original stuff Yeah? If you don't... Right. So that's no smoking? Yeah. Okay, and this? Long yeah, one. That you have to look, look after your um, just work stuff, I guess. Like everything what you work, work with. Uh -huh. And then you will have like the best. Um, how is it? What kind of results are mm -hmm. in uh, I don't know work, like in the army something? No, I'm not sure. And here to to this uh, follow the rules. BHP, which is like rules at work. Cool. What do you think they did in here then? No idea what they could do here. Hmm. It doesn't look like a garage. Maybe they they start outside something. Some markings on the floor, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Another room. Hey, some more writing. 
no writing. Uh, the same about smoking. Yeah. We tried it last year. Because of course you want to break the smash the glass bottle when you think it's in there. I will try to explain this place from what I read very quickly on some random Google reviews and uh, it was kind of like a defense area for Poland, for the north coast, um, but it was also mainly used for military training ex exercises and um, yeah, that's about all I know to be honest. Don't know why it got abandoned. I think eventually it will get demolished to make this more of like a holiday beachy kind of thing at some point. And just across this road, we should have a lake. Can we see the lake? Well, there's a lake and it's currently pretty occupied. <laughs> Walk around, around, around the lake, maybe. Maybe it's, it's huge. But... The entrance to our park for life spot looks like this, as you can see, pretty challenging. And we made it, but we could hear a few cars which struggled over here. Mm. And you can see they tried anything, I think, to get out from here. From here. We are back at the van and we have an addition to show you. A new addition, new ish, which we actually got in Berlin but haven't really used it. I mean, we used it once. Ta da! Yes, we have a hammock which we bought in Berlin in Pramark for a whole four years. Four years. <laughs> It was reduced. Deal of our life. Yeah, it is a bit higher than yesterday. Yeah, but... Coffee, I will not fall down. <laughs> Check it out. When we parked here, we didn't actually think about it. We kind of just forgot. It was just a, like a good accident that the distance between the van and this tree is perfect. Because we were looking around like, hmm, we're around trees. Maybe we can use our hammock. We didn't really see any trees together, but looked outside. Saw that one tree, saw the van, boom. And yeah, we just put it around the uh, roof bowls. Can you show it please? Lovely. <laughs> Super relaxing. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! What? <laughs> Something. <laughs> No, you're fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Because definitely you went down a bit more. Okay, well, it's, it's good. I don't want to break it's Just self adjusting. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, this hammock is for one person, but it's okay. We actually didn't test it yet for two people. No. Maybe. <laughs> but there's no need. No. It's cool. More chilling space. And it doesn't take much space at all. Because it's literally this size. Like this and this. What's going on here? And uh, we are peckish. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're gonna finish our lunch. What we cooked earlier. Um, yeah, that's why we cook more curry or any other food. <laughs> Just the snack after. <gasps> you got me. So, um, we were planning on leaving this place, but it was already kind of late. Yeah, it is nine, quarter past nine. So, we're definitely not leaving this place. We are staying here for tonight and we're leaving, we'll try to leave at least <laughs> tomorrow morning mm. uh, to another spot. Yes, we got our favorite snacks, Pringles. Your favorite snacks. And yours, come on. <laughs> no, Pringles, sponsor us or send us money on PayPal so we can buy more Pringles. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just doing some editing. I'm getting started. Show me your Pringle duck face. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay. See you later, alligator.